black history and living color. The Newbury Museum in Chicago has acquired rare images from a critical period in U.S. history early in the 20th century. They're not on display, not yet anyway, but they are free and available for everyone, and you're about to see them right now. These jumped out to us immediately as something um, really special. The contents of this box have long been a mystery, but now unlocked to the public, they're revealing 100 years of history. This is the box it came in. Correct, yeah, this is the box that it was originally um, carried around in in the 1920s and that it came to us in. It really is like a treasure chest. <laughs> the treasure is a collection of 44 images produced by the Methodist Episcopal Church. The fragile glass lantern slides depict the great migration of African Americans from the South to cities primarily in the North. It's really special to us to be able to show these probably the first time in around 100 years that anyone has seen them um, because they are their connection of Chicago's African American community but other African American communities throughout the country to this story which is one of the most important transformations in American history. The images capture life in the South, African Americans working in cotton fields, in sugarcane fields, progressing to the lives they envisioned and eventually lived in cities like Detroit, Philadelphia and Chicago. I love the image of the basketball team, which is St. Mark's Church basketball team. Uh, St. Mark's, one of the great African-American churches, Methodist churches here in Chicago. Um, their basketball team won the, the City Church League in 1921, 1922. There's one image of a social worker visiting a family in what's essentially tenement housing. You can see a stove, a uh, wood-burning stove. Um, you can see a little sink, and that's, that's kind of just about it. Um, and they're all kind of crowded in there. But the image is so, uh, is so full of pride and so full of optimism. There's a homemade flag in the corner. One of the things that churches like St. Mark's stepped up to do was provide daycare for these families. And you have this image of children in a room um, with smiling women looking, looking over them, um, and they're leading them in the prayer before the lunch. Uh, it's such, again, such an optimistic, hopeful kind of image for, for how, these, uh, how these communities hoped that their lives would be in, um, in a city like Chicago. How do you put into words the value of a collection like this? Yeah, as far as we're concerned, it, it, it's priceless. Um, you know, we collect for research value, not monetary value, though certainly monetarily valuable. Um, but they, uh, they have a research value and an emotional value, a sort of impact for the people whose stories are reflected in them that I think really is, is incalculable. It's, it's priceless. The thing that stands out to me is just what a valuable snapshot it is of life. One of the things I really love about this set is that it's, it's really, it's history on the ground, right? It's history as it's being made. And none of us think, you know, oh, I'm making history right now. But people, these people really were. They were making, they were part of a transformation of the city of Chicago and, and the, the country as a whole um, uh, without really knowing it. So the Newberry isn't calling it an exhibit because the images aren't on display. Again, not yet anyway, but you can see them online and you can even download and print them free. Just go to Newberry.org. Black History Month on CBS Chicago is proudly sponsored by Toyota. Let's go places.